As many of you guys know, I've been playing a lot of yet another zombie survivors because I really enjoyed this game quite a bit, but this may be my last video on this particular game for a little while. I'll still make updates whenever new stuff gets updated, but I've unlocked just about everything and as such, I'm going to be doing a fun little game mode with each of the characters, the ability they have now. Now I'll make new videos in the future when they get new abilities and when new characters again get unlocked. We're going to be doing endless mode for all of this. There will be time codes in the description below to skip to the one that you want to see and see how I did with each of them. I figured we would start with the soldier. This is endless mode, which means it's going to go beyond just the 20 minutes, but it also means the enemies like amp up every two or three minutes, as in the horde gets stronger every two or three minutes instead of five minutes, which makes quite a big difference because we see a boss a lot sooner as well. And to make this interesting, I'm not going to recruit any other people. This is going to be purely each character. So we're going to start with the soldier. He's the leader, but not only is he the leader, he's going to be the only one. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be the only one. We're not recruiting anyone else. So we can take our time upgrading his abilities because his abilities are the only ones that are going to be able to be upgraded because they're the only ones that we're getting. So actually, I am able to upgrade a lot of his stuff in a short amount of time. So we will get this. And then you saw SOS technically appeared. We will go to it, but then we we'll just pick the liberate option and that will let us do the thing without getting a character. So yeah, normally we choose one of the two characters, but since this is all about soldier dude himself we're going to yeah now now do you see it hasn't even been it's just now been hit two minutes and we already face our first boss and yeah they it ramps up a lot quicker in in less mode than it does the no more story mode. Coincidentally, it ramps up about the same as hard mode, I guess. So, yeah. Let's upgrade this again. I wish it had faster reload speed. Now, see, as far as I know, that unlimited ammo. I don't know if it would be beneficial to have a game mode where there is limited ammo, but there's a lot of RNG in this game, so I feel like that may not be the best idea. I am definitely not a game designer, so I definitely don't always have the best thought. But I do play games, so I, you know, I feel like that had some weighing. I know what I like. I know what I'd like to see. I know what I find interesting. So, yeah. In case you want... Wait, what did we just pick? Did we pick the sniper option? I hope we didn't because I don't like snipers. Okay, see, I suck at using snipers, but I'm not controlling this sniper. I guess we'll see if I pick the sniper option in a moment. I kind of wasn't paying attention and kind of zoned out as I usually do when I'm him. So, yeah. Boxing gloves. Okay. There we go. 
No, okay, I think I did pick the sniper. If I did, that would be interesting. This would be my very first time picking the sniper. Oh, I did not pick the sniper. Okay, good. Grenade. See, that's the thing. There's money there right now. So you'll see a lot of money or health power-ups in the future because that's what happens when there's nothing else. They either give you money or health as a power -up. Solar panels, definitely got to do that. These are some of the perks that I've gained by unlocking achievements, doing various game modes and stuff that I play. Okay, we unlocked a grenade, so like every nine seconds or so, there will be a grenade, which will be okay, I guess. They also, I should take the time to mention that they nerfed the amount of experience boss drops. The horde level is at 3 now, as you can see here. And it's been 5 minutes. So presumably at 10 minutes, the horde level will be at 6. Uh, I could get health to be safe, but... Who needs safe? Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah. Oh, hood level evolves. I wish that wasn't in, like, such a dark red. It makes it very hard to read. Maybe they'll change that in the future. I know it's supposed to be ominous looking, but it just makes it blend too much in the background, if I'm Oh, okay, we gained our health back, so we were not punished at all. Because I have a little bit of health region, it's not the most in the world, but it is a little bit, and apparently it's enough. Yeah, apparently it is enough. Solar panels, I guess we'll pick solar panels again. That way we can get our grenade even faster. Yeah, that would be grenade. You know, guys, forget I said grenade-tastic. Okay, we have this upgrade. We're going to be fully upgrading the helicopter. So it would strike every... Wait, it just striked a moment ago. How often are you going to strike helicopter? I mean... Don't get me wrong, I don't hate it. If you want to strike like every um, 30 seconds, I I would not yell at you. Yeah, I would not yell at you, helicopter. You only strike, oh, right now you are at every 20 seconds, so 23 seconds, so we should get you down. Okay. Strike every hoo hoo hoo. We can get you down to 14 seconds, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey. 14 seconds in another helicopter strike. Okay. Okay, I feel like that was less than 14 seconds. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just talk a lot. Then you know what? Let me know in the comment section below if you think I talk a lot. Wow, the hood is already at 5. And that's not even 10 minutes yet. This hood, now they're at 6. Man, this hood is crazy. I thought they would be at 6 by the 10 minute mark. Apparently, they are going to be more than 6. Wow, just wow. We've officially unlocked all of the soldiers' power-ups now. Now it's time for it to be a bit risky because I technically showed you guys everything with this character. I'm just going to let you guys see how long I survive with this particular character, how he is in the game currently. Okay, I know I said I was going to take some risky risks, but this 
is crazy how much risks I'm taking. I'm literally just walking into them for no reason right now. Yeah, I'm being way too risky, guys. Someone needs to stop me. But it looks like my reign's about to end. I've fallen under 600 health. And we are going to get health, I guess, because, you know, we need health. We are going to make our final stand right here. Okay, I know I said final stand, but it's not my fault, guys. I didn't expect me to go back to full health, okay? Now, I guess we we'll get money. I mean, who doesn't like money? Oh, guys, just a heads up. Any power-ups? I receive from this character. I'm not going to upgrade the my skills for the next character because I feel like it would be a little bit unfair advantage to everyone else. Okay, hold level is officially at nine right now. Just so you guys can get an idea of how the other runs might go. At about 10 and a half minutes, Horde is at 9. Okay guys, it looks like this is going to be the end. We are going to make our final stand. No! We lost. Game over. Our final stand that can last that long. We ended up killing 3,829 zombies. We have a good amount of damage dealt. And this was the endless with the SWAT character. So let's move on, shall we? Okay, the next character is, of course, the tank. Also, sorry about the gameplay it tend to be a little laggy sometimes ever since the update okay for our first update we're going to go with this because this is all about the leader but since this is going to be our only character for the run just like last time we will be slowly upgrading our stuff. I want to unlock the rocket. That's why I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of unlocking the rocket. But, actually, I might not unlock the rocket. I might go with the minigun this time. We'll see. Yeah, because it's something specific I want to do, but, yeah. Yeah, I might go with the minigun. That seems like a good idea. It also seemed like a good idea to run and try to get some of these upgrades unlocked sooner than later because we definitely need to get them unlocked. Wait, why do we have more health? Oh, because we're a tank. Okay, so it makes sense that Tanks have more health than everyone else. It actually does make a lot of sense. They're a tank character, so they're supposed to have a lot of health. Yeah, okay, so that, that strike kind of missed them entirely. So, cool, 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 cool. As we know, everything scales a lot faster in here, we're going, we're going to start getting the saw blades unlocked. And of course, now we got to go over and unlock that. Again, guys, sorry for all the lag. It really got introduced in the new update. Please bear with me for that. We're going to re-roll because we can. We're going to go with solar panel shotgun upgrade because we're going to go with the laser this time. Even though I really want to go with the um, yeah. I know what I want to go with which is the 
rocket launcher, but we're going to go with the miniguns this time. If we even make it that far, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. We might not even make it that far. We we could like insta death right now, for example. I don't actually think there is anything in this game at the moment that prevents like one hit kill type. Okay, we unlocked the pump action shotgun. So that's one step closer to what we need. They actually changed the name. It used to be called the double barrel. Final bombing upgrade. We need that heart. That's good. That it dropped one could argue that it's lucky. Okay, and against a better judgment, we're going to upgrade it into the minigun. Okay, yeah. I'm going to upgrade it to the minigun. I think that's the best course of action, even though I, I like... Like I said, I actually like the rocket better, but nah, it is what it is. Am I right or am I right? The game says I need more health, but ha, what does the game know about health? Am I right? See, no thanks to the game, we are actually back to full health. <clears throat> so, let's just continue off where we were talking about whatever we want. Oh, I thought we lost some health there, but we didn't because we are on fire. Yeah. Let's get a third saw blade drone, shall we? Yeah. Saw blade drone. Here we go. Okay, this could be okay, but it could not to be very bad. Again, we don't need no stinking health. Yeah. We will go with this whole thing all the way. Like, all, all the way. Okay, we are about to lose. No. I guess we just need health after all, guys. We did not get nearly as far with the tank as I would have liked. I think it's because I got used to the auto tournament with the SWAT, but let's move on. Next up is none other than the engineer. Okay, so the engineer is interesting because the engineer is actually low key. My favorite character out of the first starter three that you get. Energy shield. Energy shield is brilliant. Against some um, higher level enemies, its damage is not a one hit kill like you wish it was. But, I mean, it, it has its moment. It has its moment. But I think we're going to start upgrading the tailor. Taylor? Taser. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, I think I might start getting a beam cannon, I suppose. Yeah. As much as I like plasma weapons, this plasma weapon in this game does not do that much at all. Actually, one could argue that even with the beam, laser beam, one could argue that the first two weapon upgrades do more damage. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's an argument that can definitely be made, and it's a very ba valid argument here. Okay, let's see what we have here. Let's follow the arrows, shall we? Okay, I think we need that electric torrent as soon as we can. We also need health regen. I feel like, I 
feel like I always fall back on health region. That's that's just what I always fall back on. And yeah, that's a bug in the game because as of making this video, it's still in early access, but there's a bug that sometimes it won't pause the game if you particularly if you move before it starts, it will keep you moving and not pause the game. Pretty annoying, but and like I said, these are this is all endless. Like all of these gameplays are endless mode, so the enemies scale up a lot quicker than they would in non endless mode. The reason I'm doing that is because of the fact that I want you guys to see the actual characters in action as it were. Yeah. A barrel roll. <laughs> Let this skill cool down because this character relies mostly on skills, if I'm being honest. So, skill cooldown is actually more valuable than anything else. Uh, we could go with is the blaster, the thing we want. I don't think it is, right? Oh, the blaster is actually what we want. Yeah, the blaster. No, wait, the blaster was not what we wanted. Well, that's what we got now. So we have to make do with it. We wanted the laser, but we have a plasma blaster instead. Oh, well, it's what we got. We chose it. We can't unchoose it now. It's kind of too late for that. I mean, plasma blaster isn't the worst in the world, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's not the best in the world, but that's not the worst in the world. That's the worst weapon that exists. Okay, let's go with electric gauntlet, I think it is. Okay, plasma blaster, last upgrade. We will go with energy shield again for some more damage. Energy shield again. But yet some more damage. The cool thing about the energy shield, well really anything in this game, it can actually do critical damage. So critical chance does actually potentially increase what it does. So critical chance is actually low-key brilliant in this game. It's like Borderline OP, if I'm being perfectly honest. Luckily, we don't need the health. Let's go with happiness. Because, see, picking the health potion in there, honestly, kind of feels bad. Because, it's to me, anyway, it feels like you're wasting your whole turn. So, yeah, that's a bit, yeah. Okay... Man, we are either not doing great or doing super great. Maybe both at the same time. I don't know. So, yeah. Gotta pick up that. Pick up all of those. And to give us another thing, we will pick that as a power. See what I mean? The, the plasma thing is not too... Oh, that was a bit explody. Okay, maybe... Maybe the plasma is okay. Yeah. Maybe the plasma is okay, guys. Maybe the plasma is okay. Plasma, can you defeat this boss dude for me? That would be super cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he actually did it. No, I honestly didn't think that I'd beat that boss so fast. So maybe... Maybe there is something more to the plasma than I thought initially. Yeah, maybe there is. Maybe there is. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. Final upgrade on the electric gauntlet. We are almost fully upgraded. I guess that's our big goal of these. Endless. 
to fully upgrade so I can show you guys the full potential of each character. Yeah, that is definitely probably the goal of this. So we have enough for another upgrade. Good. Electric Torrent. The electric torrent is actually pretty cool. It's it's kind of like the soldier thing. It's just an area of effect thing. Actually, if I had to, um, if I would ask who is most like this soldier in this game, I guess it would be this dude. He just he's like this soldier, but with gadgets. Yeah, the four health region. It's kind of low-key OP, in my opinion. You'll get that power for beating hard mode. This game on hard mode. So, yeah, I got that power up not too, too long ago. As long as you're moving, you'll get four health regen. So, basically, you're always moving in this game. The reason it says most likely as long as you're moving is because sometimes games like this have a problem with people just being still being AFK and what. Okay, time to pick the upgrade again because I don't need no stinking health. Maybe I did need the health. I don't know. Last time I said I don't need no stinking health. I died, so maybe, maybe I did need help. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? No, money. Because you need money more than health, guys. Remember, kids, money is better than health. No, no. <laughs> okay, don't, 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 don't. Don't write that on the pillow or anything. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, skill cooldown? Yes, please. I want to see what a skill cooldown is. Okay, so a skill cooldown is pretty high. It's at 57.50%. So we get uh, a little over half. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I feel like that's more than, like, I would have in like some triple a title like borderland 2 or something yeah but that's just because the creators of this game they are pretty active in their updates and stuff and they are you know trying to balance stuff like not too long ago you'll probably see later on in this video but not too long ago the medic actually got nerfed a bit yeah because the medic could combine with a certain skill that literally just made you unable to die okay see and i told you guys i gained my health back just like that it was it was touch and go there for a minute you know what i may as well use a reroll yeah you know what as much as we want to do a barrel roll self-care more important than the barrel roll. I swear this video is not sponsored by anyone like Better Health or any. I'll be honest, I wish we had higher movement speed, but I think we have close to the max movement speed, and I'm just taking damage from them for no reason. Oh, wait, did they not hit me? Are they stormtroopers now, but with an axe? Can you imagine if Stormtroopers had an axe? I suppose they'd miss then too. They'd just keep on missing forever. Like they would, I believe, see, with, when they're shooting stuff, they can't just actively destroy themselves. But I feel like with a melee weapon, they could miss so bad, you know, like critical miss, and destroy themselves. But it's a stormtrooper, so it doesn't even have to be critical, right? It can just be webbed. We don't need that stinking health. 
let's re-roll again. We want those, we want, we want that stretcher, yeah. So we get four health regen per second, and that is pretty OP. Again, we don't need no stinking health. I'm sure you guys can tell that this character is like low-key one of my favorites. And man, I have that, wow, I have that up almost all the time now. It's crazy. Let's let it go down and see how long it takes to go up again. <laughs> That's crazy. That's like uh, that's like OP, right, guys? I wonder if it's gonna get changed in the future because right now it's just up almost all the time. It's like no almost for twenty four seven uptime. Yep, it's up again. <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. I I enjoyed that quite a bit. Honestly, I low key hope they do not nerf it because see, here's my stance on this game. This is definitely and there's no point in hiding away is this is uh endless mob, you know, destroy fantasy whatnot. So, you know, some things, as long as they aren't too, too overpowered, I feel like should stay in the game. And this is one of those. Okay, I got to pick this just because I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 not too long ago. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. What did that have to do with Guardians of the Galaxy? Watch Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll see. You're awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get health. Ah, I can't believe I got health. But, okay, so later on in the run, when I am the medic, it's going to be an interesting battle. The medic does not do a lot of damage with her weapons, if I'm being perfectly honest. So it's going to be kind of an uphill battle. So let's see what happened there, shall we? Okay, so far we are, well, we're back at full health. I literally was just about to say, hey, we are almost dying, but then we got back to full health. So I guess we're not, technically. I still think that it's funny that this barrier is up like, all, almost all the time, like, well, because he has the bonus, um, whole thing where he has bonus skill cooldown, so, you know, he gets his skills cooldown faster, I'm picking money, yeah, gotta go with money, it's all about the money, we also have that dodge thing, yeah, we are, we are good at dodging. We're still picking money. We can gain the health back. We definitely can gain the health back, guys. Don't worry about that. We can gain the health back. It will be no problem. See, we did actually gain the health back. I'll be honest, I was looking for a bit where I gained some health back, but then I died instantly. But no, we actually gained the health back. No bit needed. Yeah, no bits about it. Critical chance. I feel like we have such low critical chance and we've been getting lucky. So I wonder what will happen with extra critical chance. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We need to open that up. We could do more hit tracks, but I feel like we need to dodge. Uh, dodging is good. Dodging is good. If you can dodge an axe, you can dodge a ball. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what they teach you in dodgeball school. Yeah. 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 See, we're back at full health. All because of the lessons that our sensei in dodgeball. It actually just occurred to me, I think this is the best 
we've done with any of the characters so far. I really don't want any of these. So I guess we'll use our first recycle of this one here. So we recycled it. We gained some, a little bit of everything, I guess. Yeah. And the enemies are, are following us around. Oh, that enemy just got deleted. Well, well then, dude. Well then. You got deleted. On my watch? I don't think so. It's funny because I'm the one that deleted. I'll be honest, it's gotten to a point that when this barrier isn't here, something feels a little off. So that's going to be interesting with the other runs since I will not have this barrier at all during the other runs because this character is the only one with this type of barrier. I mean, Ghost has something somewhat similar, I guess. I'll pick the potato, okay? I'll pick the potato. I feel like that's what you guys want to see me pick. I'm about to die. That magnet ability could have really helped me, but it's cool. I'll pick the potato, guys. The potato is just fine. Everyone loves a good potato, especially when you're about to die. Because, you know, positive potato thinking, right? Okay, you know what? I'll take the health, okay? I need it. I'll take the health. I took the health, guys. You're happy? I picked the potato. I took the health. I have a horde of enemies running after me. I hope you're happy. If the potato pops up again, I'll pick it again. I'll, if I'm not dead by then, I'll pick it again, guys. I'll pick the potato again. Yeah. It actually just occurred to me that each of them have three skills, I guess. So, yeah. Well, because I never really pay attention because I always have a bunch popped up there. And if that's a potato again, I swear. Because I said I'd pick it, so I kind of would have had to. But, nope, that wasn't a potato. I picked that because this skill thing always appears. So, you know. It always appearing will give me more everything, I guess. Okay, I need more health. Yeah, again, I feel like we're getting to the point where we do actually need more health. Oh, we're about to die. Well, it was a fun run, right? <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Maybe we can get more potatoes in the future. Am I right? Yeah, we just need one zombie to tickle us. And we're dead. Yeah. I don't actually know. How I'm surviving at all. Maybe it would my moves like Jagger. Okay, we got more health. I don't know how we even got out of that situation. It actually doesn't seem very logical at all. It kind of just seems like a fantasy made up thing that we even got out of any of that. Because, yeah, we are not doing the best in the world right now. One could argue that we're actually doing the worst in the world. And not the best in the world. <laughs> so, yeah. What weapon do I have? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fire rate would actually help out quite a bit, I think. Not as much as health would... I could go for some health. Okay, guys, it's just a matter of time now. We are basically on our last final stand moment. So, yeah. Final stand time, guys? Final stand time. It's the final countdown. Yeah. 
you know, the countdown to our demise, of course. We will pick health because we can. That's always an option, I guess. That's cool that it's an option. Yeah, I like it. Oh, we, we, if we can make it over there, we can get some power up before. Oh, we should have got that shield. I regret not getting that shield, actually. I regret it so, so much. <sighs> we could have used that shield. That shield would have been so good. It would have been great. It would have been like champion level OP. That's what that shield would have been. It wouldn't have been that OP, but it would have been OP. See, I'm conflicted. On one point, I do need health, but on the other hand, duct tape. You can't go wrong with duct tape. Duct tape can fix anything, guys. It's like that cure all thing. You just put it on everything and everything washes away. I don't actually currently know what I'm on about. Actually, what? Oh. 21, that's the horde level right now, in case you're curious. And I'm not one-shotting them anymore because they have ridiculous health. Yeah, they have arguably more health than I do. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy I'm even still alive. Oh, man, I went the wrong way. I am so dead. I am like Gonzo, like gone five days ago, ten days ago, and the, the drama of a zombie. There's always the drama of zombie. This is the zombie game. That's potato, no, stretcher, potato, stretcher. I'll get that stretcher, guys. No, I'll get the potato. I do what I said. I do what I said, guys, and I said potato, so I got the potato, like I said I would. Because here we do what we say, guys. We do what we say. We do what we say. Could I've lasted a little bit longer with the stretcher? Maybe, but we said potato, so we got the potato. Next up, of course, is the Huntress. And with the Huntress, we, well, we have to see what's going on here. I think we can do okay. I don't think we can <clears throat> top how good we did with the Engineer, but okay. For our first upgrade, we're going with the Zombie Decoy because we definitely want a decoy. We need a decoy. I feel like... I feel like we really need a decoy. Decoys are very important, especially since they just buffed the decoy not too long ago. But then we also get to do critical chance because that's her thing. She gives you a bonus critical chance. <clears throat> so, yeah. We are going to, yeah. We're going to upgrade her bow a bit too, because she will get multi-shot eventually, which is a nice upgrade. It really is. We could use multi-shot against all the zombies. Yeah. Okay. Arrows rain from the sky. Okay, so the arrows raining from the sky, very unpredictable, doesn't always go where you want them to. So it's kind of one of those bring chaos to the battlefield type thing, but this isn't the kind of chaos that can hurt you. So it's perfectly fine. Another bow upgrade, because like I said, the sooner we get that multi-shot, the better, because we need something. This might be a Shortest run at this rate because we are not that good at dodging the 
for the zombie drop because unlike the rest, she's using a bow, which actually takes longer to shoot. I mean, it does more damage, but <clears throat> it also, like I said, takes longer to shoot. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go with multi shot, of course, because multi shot, come on. Yeah, we got this. We did not got this. We are doing terrible, guys. I don't know why we are bumping into everything so much. It's just like everything that exists, we just bump into. What does she have beyond multi shot? I completely forget stretcher okay we're going to go for the stretcher every time we can when we can i feel like i bite myself in the foot kick myself in the foot bite myself whenever i say that type of stuff because then i have to kick it because i said i would Okay, so she's definitely a little bit rough around the edges at first, as you can see. But I feel like she's one of those characters that gets a pretty substantial upgrade over time. That's, that's honestly, truly what I think. Over time, she gets a pretty substantial upgrade. Let's see. It's for raising arrows, but I'm curious if she had something besides freezing arrows. I don't actually know for sure whether she does or not, if I'm being perfectly honest. But I guess we'll find out, because see, I don't use her a whole lot, that's why I don't really know. Oh, she has explosive arrows, okay. We're going with... We're going with explosive arrows, guys. We are definitely, we, we choose those explosive arrows. Always explosive. Ooh, and we can fire multiple at a time. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Explosive arrows, here we are. We are losing health, but we are exploding things as well, so... I'm very torn on that, obviously. We will re-roll because I know what we need. And <clears throat> uh, I guess we can choose Mad Mad Cat. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, I think Mad Cat will work pretty well for us. Now I do know people who are very good with using the Huntress as a character. I am not one of those people. Not at all. I'm terrible with the Huntress as a character. Just like altogether terrible. Okay, last upgrade for explosive arrows. So that's interesting, I guess. I mean, not really interesting. It, it really is, I suppose. And we got that open. I used to think you had to stand and, you know, open them. I think weapon reload time actually works out for her quite a bit. Because, <clears throat> I mean, ever don't technically reload, but they could do like a, you know, this game isn't really good at, um, you know, wording of what stuff do, does, so, yeah. Okay, guys, it looks like it's about time to make a final stand already with the Huntress. So, yeah, we are not doing good here at all. We will have to choose health if health is an option. And that's not an option, so we're just screwed. Am I right? Or am I right? Yes, I am right. Thank you for answering. Okay, let's see. This is 
still not really gonna save us. Not really. I mean, I guess we could do arrow drain from this guy to do a bit more damage in that sense, but that's really all we got. Yeah, final stand already. So early. Now game over. We lost. Okay, now we are going ghost. The good news, we can't possibly do any worse than we did with the Huntress. So, that's something. I am I just don't play a lot of Huntress, okay? And this is endless mode, okay? This is endless. The enemy do scale faster in my defense yes i'm already making excuses you're welcome the cool thing is ghost is not very bad at early levels the enemy did not stand a ghost of a chance yeah so yeah not bad at all he also got a buff to hit shuriken recently so now he'll um, you know, throw how many of us shurikens the update says that he throws. And he makes, he definitely makes it easier to go to upgrades because he slashes down. He, because he's a melee character. So I actually have a special, you know, Liking of his character because he's a melee character. Uh, weapon damage, wep and armor. Let's do the frying pan because it it seems funnier. Yeah, that's what we're basing a skill set off of. What seems funnier? That that seems fun. No, <laughs> okay. the ghost is a ninja. Yeah. In case you couldn't tell by the katana and shuriken. Yeah, ghost is a ninja. Okay, we should have backed up from that, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay, now we gotta go to uh SOS thing to get another easy skill. When I unlock thousand cuts. Thousand cuts actually is pretty cool. It's basically like all but an AOE type thing. I don't really know if if it doesn't seem to count as a skill because it's a weapon upgrade, which it's very odd to me because it definitely seems like it is a skill, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. When I fully upgrade it because so it can go faster, yeah, you know, at the rate that it does stuff. And I suppose we will do the critical thing too, because these can actually critical hit as well. So, as you can see, they are all critical hitting right now. <clears throat> Last thousand cuts upgrade. So basically every hit is just hitting a bunch of enemies, so that's cool. When I re-roll, we are going to go with Stretcher, okay? Because I fall back on the Stretcher ability way too much. So yeah, when I keep on falling back on it, because why wouldn't we? Do more critical nests. Why wouldn't we? Criticalness is critical. Yeah. Critical. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure can. Yeah. Okay. So we've gotten almost everything we need now. We are going to not get health. We are going to do more shuriken shenanigans as it were. And then we are going to 
liberate so we can do even more shuriken shenanigans which will be very shuriken e or whatnot so yeah that that's pretty cool i suppose for now we're just mowing through everything because you know our thing hits all directions really we lost a good chunk of health and it was entirely our fault that we lost of that health too it wasn't one of the things that it was the enemy's fault it was our fault we actually literally took a boss rush to the face i guess kunai is the only one we have to upgrade so i guess we'll upgrade kunai kunai is ghost last ability to unlock which is weird because I view it as his weakest ability so yeah <laughs> it's it's one of those kinds of abilities in my opinion if you guys think it's super strong definitely let me know comment section below but I think his kunai ability is super like compared to all of his other abilities really weak that's just my two cents as it were and we're gonna re-roll again self-care of course that's what we are doing as per use okay kunai there we go and last kunai upgrade i believe which means we officially have all of Ghost's upgrades now. Yeah, okay, there we go. All of Ghost's upgrades, and we are going to open this. There we go. We're going to get the teddy bear for happiness. The cool, cool thing about Ghost is Ghost is kind of one of those characters that I guess overall he's kind of interesting because of the fact that he's a melee character. I still think the Tone Thousand Cuts thing should technically be a skill, but it, they made it into a upgrade of a weapon so that's interesting that is very interesting i feel like in any i feel like in just about any ninja type anime or whatnot this would be considered a skill but maybe maybe they had a particular reason for making it into uh weapon we don't need no stinking health i feel like i say that all the time and it doesn't always work out the way i want it to so maybe i should stop saying that as much but it will be fine it will be fine oh what do you look at that it really will not be fine because i okay no 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 it's looking like it's okay it's okay guys it's okay we're almost back to 800 health yeah okay okay where is that health we need that okay we're back to full health guys we're back to full health yeah we are back to the full health guys yeah and when i kill this boss and why we're here we may as well kill that boss too because he looked at us funny okay we are getting way too cocky now so it's probably best that we go get that thing and then hopefully not die in the process so yeah that would be 
fine, especially since, like I said, we are getting way too big for our britches, guys. We are getting way, way too big for our britches. A bridge is, yeah, okay. Let's see, we don't need health. Oh, we actually don't need health. The horde level is at eight, that's perfectly fine. Okay, we're gonna get that shield, of course, because shields are actually not too bad, not too bad. Actually, the shields seem to be helping quite an okay amount, I think. And weapon fire rate, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if that works on the sword or not, but eh, I'll do it anyway. What do we got to lose? Am I right? <clears throat> I feel like this is pretty crazy, and I feel like I'm going to die if I don't Keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Okay, I know I said keep moving and then I stopped moving, but that's because I wanted to see something. Nope, we don't need no health again. Not yet, anyway. We might soon if this enemy does ever actually hit us. Yeah. We are being way too, you know, we are getting way too homey, whatnot. We aren't even getting our upgrades anymore all the time like we should. At one point, I feel like we were, let's rush to the next upgrade. Now we're like, eh, it'll be all right, type thing. So, yeah, don't know what that's about. Okay, let's go ahead, do this. We are not picking another person. The game really wants us to have another person. But yeah, we, we are fine for now. We are fine, we are fine. We are good, we are okay. We are probably going to die soon-ish, but other than that, we're okay. We are okay. Okay, there's some power-ups we should go get. The good thing is we can pretty much get whatever power-ups we want pretty easily. I am going to use the health this time because <clears throat> I don't want to have to use a health potion if it comes up over there, if I'm being honest. What we'll power up? Oh, shuriken? No, thank you. Frying pan? Nah, yeah, yeah, frying pan, because it's fun. Okay. Are that, that the last frying pan? No, wait, is that the last frying pan, or do we have one more frying pan? I think we have one more frying pan, technically. Oh, man, we, we are getting low, guys. We are going under. Yeah. Okay, we got a shield that will give us by it some time, I guess. Yeah, fine, health. I don't know. I don't like when I have to use health on those things, but I do know I have to sometimes, okay guys? I'm not a complete monster. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's more health, but we don't actually need that one right now. Oh, there's so many monsters. So many enemies. So many bosses. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, there's level ups. And why didn't you guys tell me there were level ups available? Okay, I have four health to... This one doesn't help me that much, but that next one should help me out quite a bit, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's go faster. Okay, let's get out of there, as the kids say. Movement speed, yes. 
That's what we're talking about. Movement speed, guys. That's what we need. Movement speed. We need to move faster than ever before. Yeah. It's all about movement speed. Yeah. Okay. So, it looks like we are going for money again. We are actually doing pretty good at taking the boxes out. We take them out pretty quickly overall. I mean, we're about to lose. I think it's almost time for... Is it time for a final stand as ghost? Okay, apparently it's not time for a final stand as ghost yet. But if I keep being as reckless as I'm being, it will be time for... Okay, guys, final stand as ghost. Let's see what we have for our final stand here. We have... Yeah, okay. Do we have any more health that we can do? <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. Final stand that goes. I didn't expect it to come so soon. It snuck up on me, guys. It snuck up on me. Okay, let's go ahead and... Do that to liberate, then do that for health, because, you know, we are, if we're going down, we're going down in style. We're going down with some health, we're going down, we're taking some enemy down with us, okay? We aren't just going to just lie there and take it. No, we are taking in the meat down with us. And we are going to get some health. And we are going to <clears throat> get some movement speed. Yeah, that's what we need. Maybe we can stay alive for a moment longer with more movement speed. That, that seems like a good plan. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, ghost. Ghost, you're doing brilliant for your final stand. Your final stand and you're staying alive. Okay, we are not doing so good with our final stand. No, we're doing good again. No, we're doing bad again. No, we are not doing good. Okay, guys, we've hit our real final stand this time because we have to open that otherwise we are just gone and I guess we'll shoot this but I don't really see that helping no game over okay we did a lot of damage we did not we killed an okay amount we killed an okay amount and now we are doing what seem, what looks like the final class for now, Medic. There might be more in the future. I don't know. Probably because there's a placeholder for more. But who actually knows? Like I said, I will cover them if, you know. There's more in the future. I will cover them. Stay tuned to the channel for that. Let's see. Movement speed. Every th for three. Okay. You know what? Fine. Okay. The, see, the thing is, though, I'm also going to be covering other games as well because, you know, other games. The channel is for... A lot of different games. I thought about making a zombie horror game only channel, but I don't really know about that yet because of the simple fact that this channel I would like to get going up and more before I, you know, make a new channel. That's just my opinion, as it were. Okay, this is not working well, but right now we're going to have to up get this upgrade. I forgot we got to upgrade our weapon because our weapon does not do a lot of damage right now. So, 
here. We also gotta get that first upgrade. The second upgrade doesn't matter because since this is a leader, we're only using her. Yes, I know she's only a support character, so it might not seem fair to just use her and not use someone else as well, but we gotta be fair to everyone else, okay? We gotta be a hundred percent fair to everyone else when it comes to this type of stuff. Okay, we're not doing the health potion. We are doing happiness, okay? Because, yeah. We're doing happiness. Okay, let's see what we have here. Actually, hmm. This, this whole, wait, what? <laughs> what, did that just fall through the floor? I thought that was going to hit my character. I, I'm, I'm a bit confused, if I'm being honest here. What just happened? And, I mean, what just happened? Like, can someone tell me what just happened? Okay, let's see. I guess we maxed out that. So that just happened. That's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. Let's see what we have had. Man, we are making very reckless mistakes right now. It's because we we didn't do the smart thing. We should have been upgrading our um pistol more, but we didn't. So we're paying for it quite a bit actually. Yeah, we're paying for it quite a bit. I guess we can upgrade it right now, but it might be too little too late. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's not too little or too late. Maybe we're still in this game, guys. Maybe we are. This movement speed actually is low-key working okay for us, honestly. This movement speed buff? Yeah. Okay. Empire Survivors. Okay. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now that we got that, we might be able to survive a little bit, movement speed, and I believe it increases fire rate temporarily too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's upgrade this again. Okay, we, so far we are doing okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, okay, we gotta make it at least to the five minute mark so we can beat Huntress's score, though. Because, like I said, this is a support character, so honestly, this is low-key a little unfair. Because even though they buffed her weapons recently, she <laughs> does not do a lot of damage at all. Because she's supposed to be more of a healer. We're going to do the skill cooldown thing. And then we are going to do this. Yep. Okay. So we can get more health and all that jazz. Okay, speaking of health. Yes, yes, yes. Just give us more health. All the more health. We will take it. We also need, we need to do that, guys. I'm aware we lost a lot of health by doing that. We will hopefully get some more with this. We will give ourselves some regen, which hopefully helps. We will keep doing regen until we're full on regen, so we can at least regen somehow. Okay, we we dot that, which is good. 
Okay, more health, never hurt anyone, especially since we keep getting ran over by bosses. So more health is actually good. I didn't mean to go in <laughs> such a small circle like that. That's actually, or maybe it's a low-key genius giraffe. Oh, I thought, I thought that meant I died. Because we're already on the final stand. Her last stand. No, not like this. Not like this, guys. We don't want to end like this. This is the bad ending. <laughs> if it ended right this second, we would have the bad ending. So we definitely need to be a bit more... Yeah, okay, okay, you know what? This is not good. We actually need that level up. Okay. Life still chance. Yeah, there we go. We got that. We got that. Oh, we missed that, which sucks because we actually needed that. Yeah. Okay, let's try to get everything we can with the power of magnets. Okay, that should give us a bit more health. Unless, I mean, we, no, we don't need health right now. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're back to doing okay. Final stand false alarm. Okay, final stand. False alarm might not be for too much longer because I am losing a lot of health here. Luckily, I did dodge that, which makes me think I should do the barrel roll, but that might be a false alarm. Maybe I should do something else like yeah, like keep shooting my weapon at them because it doing some damage to them. I think I'd like to think it's doing a bunch of damage to them. Yeah, I'd like to think that they are quaking in their boots at the amount of damage I'm doing to them. Yeah, yeah, they are quaking in their boots, the zombie boots. Okay, guys, it's interesting because this is one of the things that, honestly, I shouldn't be surviving with her like I am now. I just kind of am because of her speed ability. Every now and then activates and I feel like that helps a lot. It could not help at all and maybe I'm just coping, but I'd like I'd like to think it actually helped me. Yeah. I'd like to think that it actually helping, even though the bosses following me are not helping. Look, I just have a horde of nothing but bots. You know what? That should be a boss mode where that literally only bosses. I feel like that would be interesting. Why am I giving them more idea to make my life harder? I don't know. No one will ever know. I'm back to full health. Interesting. Let's put some duct tape on the weapon. Duct tape makes everything better. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's get that magnet. You know, power up magnets. Okay, which flask do we want? We want the freezing flask. Because uh, the other one just seems to do damage over time. And that seems all but useless. But then again, maybe the freezing one is useless with this amount of enemies too. I think it only affects like four or five enemies, so. Yeah, it doesn't really affect that many enemies. It doesn't really do a whole lot. See, it affects like two or three, like the first two or three, and then it's like, nah, I'm out. 
So yeah, I'm hoping that the next upgrade will let me do it for a bit longer. Okay, more damage, but and more fire rate, but not for longer. Okay, that's that's. I wish she had a frozen for longer stat. It seems like she's getting a bit screwed out of that in that scenario. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. On paper, it seems amazing. You know. Free, slow the zombie so you can heal back some health type thing. But in reality, it does not seem to work that well. But then again, I am too alive. So maybe it does work perfectly fine. I don't know. Okay, I've officially got every single upgrade in for her. So far, so now all I just left it to see how far I can get with her. Okay, see, every time she looks like she's about to do her final stand, she somehow gets more health. So, I guess, I guess she won't be doing a final stand for a little bit. Okay, and now I have more health. Actually, this is the first time I've been able to get all three self-care teacups in one particular run. So, that is pretty cool in my opinion. So now, she had just more health in general. Funny thing, she had more health now than my tank did during the tank run thing. So, that's interesting, I suppose. These arrows saying on the screen bug me, so that's why I go to them all the time. We are going to go with money for now. Yeah, I think going with money for now is okay. And then we increase the uh, movement speed. To the point of which no zombie has ever zombied before. Yeah. No zombie has ever zombied my impressive movement speed before. Yeah. You know, those chests are going to be the end of me, guys. Because I always go to them because I'm always like, yeah, hey, I gotta get the power up, I gotta get the upgrade. But really, the SOS signals are going to be the end of me because I don't like having the, you know, green arrows on screen all the time. So I always go get them, even though optimally, You'd want to save them till you're like super low on health potentially. So, yeah. Because, you know, the power-ups disappear. And you can't always guarantee that health will be there for you every single time. So, yeah. Okay, got that, got that to be faster. I'm faster while backwards. That's interesting. Okay, let's do critical chance once again because we gotta increase our critical chance. Yeah, yeah. Our total critical chance is 10% now. Okay. Is she gonna have her final stand moment? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like she, I feel like her, the engineer and ghost might make an amazing team. I'm basing that based off of them being the farthest, you know, them three making it the farthest. I feel like together they could do great things. Although I'll be honest, I'm very surprised that the medic made it so far, especially not being a 
you know, tank or, you know, being support. Not that support can't make it far. It's just a weapon not particularly strong. You'd see what I'm working with. You'd see what I'm working with. She had just <clears throat> enough slow and just enough survivability to dodge the zombies. But I don't think I'm putting much of a dent in destroying them, if I'm being perfectly honest. I may be gaining some health from it, technically. Uh, I don't think I'm putting any destroying dent in. Okay, let's go ahead with the solar panels. I hope that's what we did. I think that's what we did. Yeah. Okay. Solar panels. We got that like a smooth criminal. I don't know if we got that on the screen. Didn't say dodge on the screen, but I don't think we actually hit him. If I'm being honest, I'm glad I didn't choose a, you know, teammate for her. I was thinking about giving medic a teammate just because, like I said, medic is a support character, but I'm glad I didn't. You guys got to see, like, fully how medic rolls, as it were. And I feel like that that is good. Okay, guys, I think we finally reached the, yep, medic is gone. Okay, so medic, medic definitely proved herself out there. I'll be on that she may do a lot further than I thought she was going to, you know, being support and like I said, her weapon is kind of weak and she was on her own as a solo team leader. But she did good stuff. She did good stuff. And here is the stuff I had unlocked. I had a lot of stuff unlocked, but just like I said, I did not use any of the training points that I occurred throughout the runs on any of the other characters. And I will probably cover more characters as they come out for this game. Stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in that. Hopefully you guys enjoy my other stuff as well. But if you just want to come back every now and then when there's a new yet another zombie survivors update definitely i won't fault you for that if you made it through this whole video you'll have my special thanks and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later